Okay, on the way. Welcome to this player go test where we take a look at Oliver Burke, the 19 year old right mid who says that he's 68 overall. I really got I requested him a lot both at the end of FIFA 16 and going into FIFA 17 now also. But uh, really nice stats from the start to go with along with a six foot two frame, right footed high medium work rates, three star weak foots, and three star skimmos. So nice strength from the starts to go along with some sprint acceleration and agility. Then uh, technically ball control, dribbling, and finishing are very solid also. Not too bad of a passer. So we'll see how. He continues to improve over the years. Uh, we, I expect you know some pretty good physical improvements. He's already pretty high up there in the sprint speed, uh, acceleration especially, and the agility is starting to improve also. But ball control, dribbling, and the finishing—it's a huge boost up to the 73 mark. I, I actually trained him try to play him a little bit as a striker and he was not too bad um this is kind of a, di a different type of player because he's such a good dribbler uh but he has that target man type of build to him uh, with that six foot two frame and some decent strength uh so he's kind of he could be a really complete type of forward if you do play him as a striker also uh, as you can see the passing going up quite a bit the short passing the decent level 72 uh ball control 83 dribbling 80 and then finishing 81 uh the the mental stats suck of course so you probably would be about like a 76 um as a as a striker and about you know like an 80 or uh, 79 or 80 now as a striker also so he definitely gives you <laughs> quite a few different options with his, his uh, physical stats along with his six foot two frame and of course the very good technical stats also but it's just caused so many problems running in like that probably should have been assist uh in that little highlight but out, out on this wing he played like a pure winger drawing penalties putting in very good crosses just creating so much uh you know opportunities 1v1 for his players but i did also play him as a striker as you can see in this highlight and he can be a very good kind of um, just creator type of striker, but he definitely can, you know, play some of that target man type stuff also, uh, just causing so many problems, creating all this open space out wide, uh, and then it was able to cut the ball back, create a little chance that I could not finish, unfortunately, but more problems uh, being created by him here out wide, drawing a foul, which probably should have been a penalty, but either way, I will take, and you see some good movement from him off the ball, a uh, little one-two, cutting back in and finishing this chance also, so... Would like to have a little bit more chances on goal with him, um, but I would have to play, you know, probably like eight more hours of gameplay to really get a full grasp of each player, especially with the way these guys are being so well-rounded uh, this year with the, how much they're going and finishing. The, like, almost, the majority of uh, wingers really could uh, fit in as a striker in this game. You know, left mids, right mids, right winger, left wingers uh, could definitely play up top also with the, how much he's, they're growing physically uh, and technically because you can see his finishing is at the 94 mark. Very good ball control, dribbling 93-87 there. A solid passing um, and, of course, very pretty good strength to go with amazing acceleration and sprint speed and 90 agility uh, and some good stamina also so definitely could help track back for you when he's playing out on the wing defensively so a huge recommendation here I definitely would take a look at him guys but with that thanks for tuning in I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later